Hi YouTube, today we're going to be having a look at a soundbar for Dell monitors. Okay, so first of all, please excuse the video um, as I've just literally just thrown my phone onto a tripod. Uh, couldn't be bothered to get the camera out, to be honest. Um, so let's open it up and have a look. So as you can see, manufacturing date June 2013. This is from quite a while ago. And this particular model is the AX510 soundbar. This is from Dell and it is for, if I just tilt the camera back, this Dell monitor here. So that Dell monitor there is a 2412, I believe. So that is an IPS 1080p panel. Really good monitor and you can pick them up cheap as anything at the moment. They have VGA, DVI, and display port inputs but also you can mount a soundbar at the bottom of the screen so this is nicely packaged up lots of tape so let's just break the tape there we go so inside we have the usual instructions warranty blah de blah but the meat and potatoes of this is the actual speaker itself so more tape let's see if we can open this up without getting the knife out again so they'll do a handful of different sound bars for their monitors um, this particular model is for all the models before 2014 and this particular one um, has a barrel connector here and that plugs directly into the bottom of the monitor. The monitor supplies the power for the soundbar. Now for the monitors that don't have the power output for the speakers, um, you do need to get a separate power brick which will obviously just plug into there and give you the power for the speaker. Now, this isn't a fantastic speaker. It's just enough to have some decent audio. Obviously, it's not gonna give you Dolby Atmos or DTS surround and all that malarkey. Um, it's just a good speaker so you have some form of sound. So, as you can see, here's the front. We have the two speakers. Um, and then on here, we have a latching mechanism, which I'll show you shortly. That latches into the bottom of the monitor to secure it in place. On the side, we have a volume dial here, which is also the power, as you can hear it clicking. And then round on the other side, we do actually have two headphone jacks as well. So you can use this essentially as a headphone preamp if you wish to do so. And then obviously we just have the audio jack for the sound input. Right then, so let me just readjust the monitor, spin it round, and I'll show you how it all fits together. Okay, so here we are looking at the back of the monitor. Here you can see the two little plastic lugs where the soundbar locates into. And the good thing about this monitor is, if I just give myself a little bit of slack on the cables, it does rotate 90 degrees, so it will assist with fitting it a little bit better. Like I said, sorry about the camera angles, I literally just throw my phone onto the tripod. Okay, so if you look just there, that's where the power output is to power the soundbar. And obviously if your monitor hasn't got that, then you need to get the additional power brick to do so. So all we need to do now is put the speaker into place. And we just drop it over the lugs, slide it down, and there we go, and we're locked into place. Then we take the little power cable, and we just plug that into the power jack there. The cable is slightly longer than it really needs to be, but I suppose you could just pop a cable tie around that just to stop it hanging down. Okay then, so let's get the monitor back round the right way and uh, let's just uh, play some music through it and see how it sounds. Okay, so there we go. That's what the soundbar looks like attached to the bottom of a 24 inch monitor. And if I just rotate the dial on the side, 
there we can see we have a white power LED come on. And the other good thing is that if you turn the monitor off, the power goes off with the soundbar. So you haven't got to keep turning it on and off. You can just turn the monitor on and the power bar will come on with the monitor. Okay, so let's find some music and see how it sounds. Now just remember I am recording this on my iPhone, so it may not be perfectly true to life sound, but you'll get the idea. Okay, so here's a little short clip of one of the videos I've done in the past, playing some music. As you can hear, sounds pretty good actually. And let's just see if we can find a bit where I'm yabbering on. Anyway, I'm back home now, and another feature I'd like to tell you about is a feature called Hindsight. But before I carry on, GoPro, start recording. Okay, so there you go. That sounds pretty good. And if you're interested, I'm actually only throwing the volume out at 75% to these. I don't want to overload it with the signal. So that sounds pretty good. So this particular model, as I said, was the AX510. So this is for all the pre-2014 models. Um, if you want it with the power brick, it's AX510PA for power adapter. And then anything after 2014, I believe is AY511. Uh, but the best thing to do is Go to Dell's website, find your particular model of screen and just double check before you buy, uh, just to make sure you get the right one. And as usual, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and share this video with everyone you know.